the Movement Torch Bearers Youth Association's convention, dubbing, they're dubbing it a successful convention. Our Lloyd Allen takes a closer look. Following the first night of the TYA convention, ending with a keynote address from Education Minister, the Honorable Jeffrey Lloyd, supporters at the event remained geared up for an even more explosive presentation Friday night. The group launched its convention 2019 under the theme, A Future Secured, Hashtag Access Granted. CNS News spoke with several representatives, including moderator Gabrielle McKinsey, who say TYA was just getting started on night one with an even bigger surprise in store for supporters Friday night. So many young people from all walks of life came out to support our efforts. You just want to be here at Malia 7 p.m. tomorrow to get a seat because guess what? We have motorcades leaving from being in Grantstown, from South Beach, from Yamacraw, from Seabreeze, from Freetown. You want to be here and you want to be here early for all of the dynamic young speakers we have as well as the Prime Minister. Mitchell Thurston, the Eastern District Chairman for TYA, says Night One was about laying a solid foundation for young people to understand what the government and TYA envisions for the Bahamas and its youth. So instead of hammering the nail right away, we wanted to put our toolbox out. So the night we laid out the toolbox, we separated all our tools properly because we ain't like them other people. We ain't just grabbing anything to just do anything. We lay a proper plan. Tonight we laid a foundation. Tomorrow we're putting up the house. And at the end, the Prime Minister will put the final nail in, in, in the roof. On Friday, as promised, several speakers hitting the stage, including the nation's chief, the most honorable, Dr. Hubert Minnis, who came with several major announcements. Organizers Danielle Miller and Carlisle Bethel say the convention was a huge success. This event was beyond our expectations. It was informative, it was entertaining, and it did exactly what we wanted it to do, and that was to get the government's message out there to its young people. Um, we've started multiple district associations on New Providence and the Family Islands. We're going to push forward and continue that mandate. We're going to get young people more involved at the community and constituency level because that's where you touch lives. That's where you talk to the people. That's where you really, really carry the, the, the policies and the vision and the, for, the, for the government forward. When asked what the next step for TYA is, these leaders had this response. More fire. More fire. <laughs> More fire. No retreat. No retreat. No <laughs> Reporting from the Malia Nassau Beach Resort, Lloyd Allen, ZNS Network News.